All right, here's our card. Um, let's see here. I want to go ahead and get, set my two metal pieces back up on here again. Get these guys reconnected. I'm just starting these by hand. I like to start all my screws by hand just to make absolutely certain I don't, you know, cross thread them. I'm just going to gently tighten these up a little bit more. You don't want to over tighten these things, it's easy to do. You'll feel it when it stops wanting to move, and that's about as tight as you want to make it. All right, so the bar is back on. Tighten down with the two screws. Next, we need to mount the heat sink. Now you see the heat sink. Well, I probably should at least blow this thing out. Yeah, it's not too dusty in there. Okay, good. So I need to clean this all off. Here's the current state of it. I'm gonna get a little polishing compound and polish this up. All right, so what we're gonna use for this is gonna be this, the uh, mother's billet polish. Sorry for the clopping sound, that's actually my goddaughter and my son playing. We got the door closed to the office, but our kids, they get loud. Take just a little bit of this, just a little bit, man, I don't even need that much, and I start polishing. You see how it starts turning black? That's what you want to see happen. Black means it's cleaning oxidation and it's polishing. Keep rubbing this until I don't have any more of this black come off. And then what I do as a final clean is I take a little bit of, you guessed it, rubbing alcohol. And I wipe it all clean. For our troubles. Hopefully that gives you a better idea <laughs> of what kind of reflective property we've got now. That's a much smoother area. So now what we'll do is remount this guy as we take our card. I've got some Arctic Silver Ceramic here, because I don't have any of the uh, Arctic Silver 5, I'm out. I'm almost out of this. We're going to put just the tiniest bit of dot. Right in the middle, like this. And then we'll take our heat sink. Line her back up. And then I'm 
just applying some slight force, squeezing it together a little bit just to make certain that the heat sink gets down on there nice and neat. Flip it over. Put our plastic standoff, or well, plastic stand standoff discs if you want, call them whatever you want to call them. They're insulators, they're insulated discs, that's all they are. Put these on. Alright, so I'm going to go down just hand tight on all these so I know I've got fairly even pressure. And now I'm just going around from one to another, tighten them down. And you notice I'm using the spudger because I can't put a whole lot of pressure on them that way. Once I've gotten them down that far, then I can finish them off. And there we go. Now what we'll do is we'll go install this back in the computer and let's go, um, yeah, make sure it actually works.